Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethaman, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to play a different game. This one is called, as you can see, Warlord Battlecry 3. Now, this is an old game. Um, I used to play this uh, when, I, when I was growing up and stuff. Uh, it is a real-time strategy game. Uh, I did start out a campaign just to see if I remember how to play it. So, I might potentially do an episode now and again for this game it is interesting uh for a game that is quite old to be fairly honest i kind of like it so i'm going to be playing with the demon class and i think i want to be a summoner now i remember that as a summoner you can summon your own demons which are pretty powerful and so that's kind of interesting uh i did want to change that but apparently that's not a thing so let's have a look at this right here let's do some customization uh these will be the portrait for my hero that looks kind of cool. I kind of like this one, to be fairly honest. He looks ferocious. So, I'll try and be a ferocious summoner. Okay, so we got some voices there. Let's have a look at the others. I like this one. Nah. Hmm, possibly. I like this one too, as well. So I think I might keep that. So, morale stats, okay. Uh, I think I'm happy with the settings. We're going to go into the game. Hopefully, I don't suck too badly at this. I can remember the first mission or campaign. So, we've got a, it, it's a very interesting game. You, you've got like a little map that you can go and do certain things. You've got replayable missions. And it is a building strategy type of game. Oh, got scene. It was only a matter of time before the Celentine merchants ventured too far from their trade routes over the South Seas, searching for the rich lands that might lay beyond. But they were unprepared for the terrors they would awaken and the devastation they would unleash upon the face of Etheria. The lands they discovered were rich in gold and silver. Their inhabitants, the snake-like Serathi, called this land Kashan, and it was not long before the Celentines began to slay these peaceful creatures and take their treasure for themselves. Soon, all manner of freebooters, profiteers, and adventurers began flocking to the shores of Kishan, and it was on one such journey as a huge Celentine vessel sailed past Mordanion, the Sundered Isle, that a frightening, almost unnatural storm was seen in the distance. Fortunately, the crew was curious and put to shore to take a look, for although Mordanion was guarded by the High Elves and forbidden to the mortal races, something about the storm seemed terribly wrong. Okay, so this is the only thing that we have at the moment. We have the Sundered Isle. So this is where our story starts. I'm going to look at the sound because it is very, very loud. Uh, so I might have to do some stuff here. Uh, now, do bear in mind, this is a very old game that I'm playing. Uh, it's still a good game if you guys want to pick it up. It's dirt cheap on Steam. Uh, I think it cost me about four quid. So definitely a game worth picking up if you do like strategy games. Uh, I personally like uh, the element of building up a base. Uh, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing where possible in the game. There are certain missions where building's not allowed. But that is the aim of the game. So I do try and build um, <laughs> fortresses if that makes sense. So I think I shall take one of these things and a demon basically i don't need that because we're not going to build anything um right i'm trying to look at how many points i have and what i can use it on okay well we'll go with that that's what it is and so i'm not going to read out the story uh, i will scroll through it slowly it will appear on the upper left corner as you can see right there there we go and you guys can read it, pause it if you want. I kind of know what the story's about. We're basically now on this um, Sundered Isle thing. And uh, we're not really supposed to be here because we're not elves. And anything that's not an elf is forbidden to be here and all that sort of stuff. But uh, things are dodgy, so or look dodgy. So we're here to explore the situation. And we'll have all of these troops guard my hero. Now, in this game, the hero is very important. You don't really want to lose your hero. Now, I'm playing on the harder difficulty. Uh, and I think the next difficulty up is basically if you lose your hero, you lose it permanently. Which kind of makes it impossible to play the game. So, you don't want to lose your hero. So, uh, also on the map, again, you don't want to lose your hero. That's quite important because 
uh, your hero can build, can convert different uh, types of mines and resources. We have to be really careful. I'm a bit squishy at this point in time. Hopefully in time, I'll become a bit less squishy. Now, I remember that you could summon demons. Now, I probably might want to invest in some summoning. I'm not quite sure how that works out. But... That's the reason I went with the summoner. The demons, as you will see, are pretty powerful. I think there are several other units that are powerful. And one thing that's really nice about this, there aren't... Uh, there's a limitation, for example. Not all ground units can uh, have ground-to-air combat, which is a very good trade-off. Although the demon isn't the most powerful creature in the game, uh, the fact that it is a flying unit and uh, the fact that it's not reachable by all ground units does give it that advantage now you can get units that are more powerful like the minotaur king which does hit like a truck has a ton of hit points if i do ever come across one of those that i can grab and keep i will most likely keep it and level that guy up now the problem is uh, as you saw you can take units that you've saved up in battles uh, on maps but the higher the level of the unit that you take with you, the um, the more points it'll cost you. I'm just having a look here. So I'm running around with my hero, running away, letting my demon and archers deal with the nasty things. I've already lost a couple of units there. That's fair enough. Uh, there are several chests, as far as I can remember, on this map. So, I, like I said, I did play it a while back being a kid. Uh, I did like this game. It was absolutely difficult at that time. At this point in time, uh, I mean, it's difficult, but hopefully I don't make too many big mistakes in it. That's the thing. Uh, probably should have gone for a more tankier class, like a warrior. Um, I do like the ability to summon stuff. So, um... <laughs> Of course, with that meaning, mana will be very important. Nope, can't go that way. That's fine. So at the moment, we're doing a bit of exploring. We're going to look for what we have here, what we can find. I can very roughly remember where things are. And as, as I said, I did play this as a kid. I did never, I never actually completed it. Uh, so maybe if you guys like it, I might try and complete it. This is just a test. I just basically spent like a couple of quid on it. Oh, I can deal with that. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go, see what people think about it. If people like it, I might make a few more episodes. And this might be something that I'll play on and off. So I'll kind of fill up the time with this. Now, um... Going into the types of videos that this channel is known for, and that is primarily Ark and Code and Exiles, what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of mix things up or switch them around and focus more on Code and Exiles and a bit less on Ark. Uh, the reason for that is simple. Ark doesn't seem to be releasing all that much in terms of content nowadays. It's more or less become a very... Well, it's slowly dying now is what I'm trying to say. Whereas, for example, Conan Exiles constantly has updates and stuff being changed and things being added. So it's a very much a live game, whereas Ark's just really slowed down. There's, there's, there's not been a lot of stuff released. Now, I know that there will be some things that uh, will be released as a part of a TLC, uh, DLC type, type of deal. So I might look at that. Uh, I do have the intention to do that. I have kind of covered all of the How to Tame uh, videos in arc there's not really much to do unless i do gameplay videos for arc which is a possibility and to be fairly honest i am going to of course change things out and i will probably have one arc server and two conan exile servers going on to these servers i did say that i would create some arc servers however things happened where of course i kind of had my car or my car ended up being flooded and I've basically spent a week trying to get that fixed or changed for a new car. I've managed to do that. A couple of issues have happened as well in my day-to-day -day life where uh, certain family members fell ill on top of the fact that in the same week, 
the internet didn't work so i've been on the phone to my service provider trying to get that fixed it took about a week all this thing in a week so it's been one long week the past week so not many videos went out and yeah it was a nightmare i'm glad it's over we're now back on to normal uh, things do seem to come in threes at least for me and uh yeah it's been <laughs> i would class it as the week from hell uh, I guess I did have enough time to give this game a go, otherwise I would have been busy with other things. So I did rediscover a game that I used to enjoy. Now if people don't like the videos for this type of game and prefer Ark and Conan Exiles, I will do those, I'll focus more on those. But I do also want to cover Cyberpunk 2077, that's the game that's coming out as far as I know in December, unless it gets pushed back again. If it does get pushed back again, that's fine, I'm not really that bothered about it. As long as the game comes out good. So we have now reached the end of this first mission. Let's play around with the sound. Uh, I am going to edit this afterwards and try and reduce the sound. Because it is, um, in my headphones, it is absolutely loud. Another thing I like about this game is the music. Some people may like it, others may not. But it is very good music. It does have only a couple of tunes, what is true. We're gonna try and destroy this building because why not? We can do it. I'm hoping that this might potentially yield some experience, maybe, hopefully, please. So at the moment, the elves kind of like us because we came to see and check on them, stuff like that, I think. I hope. There we go, that is that. We're gonna wait for our troops to demolish this elvish building. Come on. Oh, they're not powerful at all. I did manage to get through with one of my demons, which is More promising and good. Like so, from some ooh. warped and twisted nightmare, a huge dark portal hung in the air, evidence of the fact that some new and terrible presence had entered the world. All of the High Elven Guardians had been slain by this unknown creature, and the only clue as to what might have transpired was in the body of a single Sarathi, a snake man from Kashan, who lay dead at the very base of the portal. Well, sucks to be him. So we have gained a level. I'm going to go in strength, um, potentially intelligence. That's going to help. I know charisma helps with, I think charisma helps with converting, which kind of sucks. I'm going to go into ferocity here. I might want to consider summoning. So it's going to be between summoning and ferocity. Brutal. Right, we'll go with ferocity. I'm hoping that's going to help with increase in melee damage seeing as we'll have to kind of defend ourselves i'm gonna go up here do i have access to nope all right okay fair enough so i kind of want to do the missions here so we'll do the rift and that should give us access to the tavern and to the uh whatever they're called but we can sell stuff and so we can also hire mercenaries we'll take you and that's pretty much it Oh, that's bad. Six points. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay. I need to be careful here. We're going to save game. Hopefully, I don't make a big boo-boo right now. going to start building up. This is quite important because we need our building unit. We just have one demon to protect this. Whilst it is powerful, it is not powerful enough to... Well, by itself, it's not powerful enough to do a lot. So, we need some units. Then we need to convert the mines. And after that, I will look at... Trying to find out where the enemy is. I kind of remember the map vaguely, so they should be above me. Now, I know the enemy has one hero. The very important part in this type of game is to take out the enemy hero without their hero they are a, a lot weaker because the hero does play a very important role in this game with regards to converting and creating troops and oh there's the hero oh dear see if i can take him out now perfect oh that was so good i'm now much more relaxed now 
go and see what he drops so enemy heroes sometimes do drop items that we can pick up we're going to pick up a handful of these quests which should help with a lot of things so with these guys basically they are the the quests are the building units but also they have a double purpose and that you can throw them in mines to produce the resources a lot quicker and i think you can put up to eight of these guys uh first things first we'll need that right there and so that should allow us to start getting out some units we want that guy to be cowardly because we want him to stick around for as long as possible oh well that was quick and that kind of sucks as well simply because if i remember correctly there are some chests up north and i really want to get all the chests simply because we are looking for artifacts that will make us more powerful that's a bit bad for me oh well That was shorter than I expected. Okay, so now... We can visit the Smuggler's Tavern. That allows us to buy and sell items. Normally the stuff that you get here isn't all that great. Five armor... Um, don't really want this. Spell casting chance. We definitely lose a lot on that. Critical chance. Okay, we're going to keep that for now. And I know, if I remember correctly, the second treasure hunt mission. Yep. This one's a timed one, isn't it? We get 60 crowns. Basically, was it the third one that's timed? One of them is timed. So I think you have like 30 minutes or something to do it in. Okay. Um, I have some money. Now, do I want to waste it or not? This is very important right here. I think there's potentially several. Oh, I think I made a mistake. See, I, sh I should have got uh, some units, hired some units. That would have helped. Um, okay, I've never seen this one before. I don't know what this is for. It's a graveyard, obviously. Well. I have 12 points. If I get my demon, it'll cost me 5 points, then... If I get another... Ooh, yeah, okay, 6 points and 6 points, that's 12. That means I can't build anything. Um, I'm going to have to do it this way. This could potentially be bad because there are two enemies here. I just hope I didn't mess it up. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, so I should have really bought the extra points that would have massively helped but hopefully i can pull it off i might have to use my hero to craft my own um i don't know what you want to call it town hall whatever the heck it is basically so i can start building stuff up okay always very important in this game is to save nearly forgot about that and I did obviously fiddle around with some sound settings as well, so probably cut that out. Okay, so we need to build our basic building, which is this right here. That shall allow us to summon in the building units. And then after that, I think the base can look after itself. We need to find the enemy heroes and take those guys out. I am very squishy at this point in time. Okay. Okay. So that's where I want the units to rally up. Let's go with this guy. We need to find all the mines, get those sorted, converted to my mines, and then afterwards, or in the process of doing that, try and find the enemy heroes. That's going to help a great deal if I could take those guys out, at least one of them. All right, we found some buildings right here. We're going to start trashing them we don't want these guys to get too big because they can get big really quick i'm gonna go down this route Ooh, there we go we found a base right here we're gonna start trashing it we don't want two strong units against us two strong heroes so we need to bring these guys down a tad bit New armies are available. 
So as you can hear, all the give me more, more. That's basically my building units being spawned in. That's what they do. Oh no, that's actually that's what they do when they finish building. Whoop! That's a sound cue that they finish building whatever I ask them to build. Hopefully, this guy hasn't set up too many towers. The bad worst thing in this game are towers, as you will find out. Ooh, okay, he's building a lot of stuff here. So, ooh, there's the hero right there. If I take this thing out right here for the hero, I will be able to stop him from building stuff. Uh, stop him from summoning builders is basically what I meant to say. Well, I really want to get that guy. But that tower is going to do me badly. Oh, there's two towers there. Okay. So, the other thing is I need to pay attention to the heartbeat because it kind of tells me how bad my hero is injured. And we're panicking a bit. Oh, we'll just go there. Right. We have leveled his base. More or less. So, uh, that gives me a bit of hope. Don't forget there are two bad guys here to deal with really what I need is to heal up like so and then deal with the towers I'm gonna try and brave it because my hero does oh that really hurt maybe I should run away right now oh I wish my hero wouldn't ooh, would not be silly and do that I might put him on cowardly because you just want to get stuck in there with the combat and um, that's how you lose your hero and don't want to lose him this early on in the game so the towers down this is now my section and we have these chests so let's scope these out see what we get I will firstly loot everything and then have a look at them later on okay I don't know if it's any good but Something's better than nothing at this point in time. Oh. And. Okay. Um, Lifesteal. That could be helpful. Here we go. We're still chasing this guy. <laughs> I have taken his mind. But he is a pain. He is a runner. I'm hoping to cut him off. With my two demons. And slay him. Come on. Down you go, please. Okay, he's not got much HP left. You can run, but you can't hide. Ooh. That was so close. That critical was amazingly close. Need to be careful. There is a creature spawner there, which could cause me trouble. Am I doing for health? I'll have to use one of these potions. Um, right, let's go and get these mines from over here. And I think it's time to build up. We still have one enemy to go. Oh, there's a hero. That's bad. Uh, where can I build this? I'm going to build a tower right here. This is where we get all the random creatures spawning in and coming into my base. So that is slightly worrying. build some of these they're not great but they will help okay so I managed to get the buildings that I was converting but unfortunately we have a problem right here the other hero for the other enemy is here and he's causing trouble so if I can take this guy out that would be great I lost a demon which is not good for me and I've taken some damage I'm not going to catch up with this guy. He's pretty freaking fast. Never mind. And as you can see, he's already converted my mind to his. So I need to take him back. And that's why you want to deal with the enemy heroes. Um, I'm Okay, I'm doing all right here. I'm going to have to do it in groups of two. Uh, there he is. So I've got a tower built up, so you cannot convert it. I can see he's traveling alone. I know where he's going. So I will try and cut him off. Hopefully he does not crit on me because if he does, that will be terrible for me. So I'm going to try and cut you off. If I can cut you off and take care of you, 
That would be the best thing ever. Come on. Come on, demon. Sweet. How much has he got health-wise? You're nearly dead. One more. Magnificent. Okay, I'll put that there. And that sorts me out. Come on. Okay, so since I've taken out the enemy hero, as you can see, I have had a good chance of building up. I have caked uh, a certain portion of the map in towers. That kind of limits where my opponents can go. First things first, before I do anything to the enemy base, I want to take out that creature spawner. Hopefully we get some good loot from there. And uh, once we take out this building, this creature spawner, we will have a boss to deal with. As you can see, this creature right here is a boss, but it is a ground-to-ground -ground boss. And this is where my demons come in handy because it cannot attack the air units because it is a ground-to-ground -ground unit. Uh, we're now chasing him. He's pretty freaking fast. <laughs> Where's he going? So he's not bothered about my base. And we're going to deal with this right here. We want him. He normally drops some loot. I say normally, but with these units, I can level out at least half of this other... Um, it's not a player. The, the, this other NPC's base. Which is useful. I think the strongest flying unit that isn't a titan, because you can summon titans, so each class, race... Has their own titans. So we're now going to go and level stuff out. Oh, you want to guard this guy. Because he is very important. If you get what I'm saying. There we go, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to go and check out the loot. We're going to take you to. We have some extra protection for our hero. Come on. This one, over here. Let's go... Um, this that'll do. So I now have tons of protection right here. Now, they've already started leveling out the base. There isn't a lot for them to do. I just need to run around picking up the chests. That's what's important. Deal with this guy right here because he's a bit of a headache. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. need to take out those towers come on hero here sort this out uh, I don't have any room to put it in oh that sucks I wish you'd stop moving about okay well we kind of oh there's more chests down here let's go and have a look oh I gotta be careful right now there's that tower there that needs sorting out, and then I can then loot these things. Uh, that's a good weapon. I might want to change it out. There we go. Let's see what we have here quickly before the game ends, and that is pretty much the end of this video. Um, right, I think I'm happy with all I have. Think. That should do. That is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.